Enjoy this movie, then visit BrainPop.com for much more. Man, it's been slow today. We're never gonna make enough to... Whoa. Uh, I'm not sure we can actually get this baby any cleaner. Oh. Dear Tim and Moby, Does it matter if I forget to brush my teeth or miss a shower or two? Why is this hygiene stuff so important? From Joy. Hygiene refers to all the things we do to keep our bodies clean. It includes daily activities like showering and brushing our teeth, and other routines that help us maintain a tidy appearance. Good hygiene is an essential part of being healthy. It's as important as a good diet, plenty of sleep, and regular exercise. Forgetting to keep clean can make growing up a lot harder. Well, classmates might start to avoid you if you're always dirty. And we all know how down we can get when we're left out. The physical effects of bad hygiene can leave you feeling even worse. You probably know how germs can make you sick. Viruses and bacteria are too tiny to see, but they're literally everywhere. There are trillions and trillions of them for every person on the planet. They're in the air and water, on our food, and all over our bodies. Not all germs are bad for us, Moby. Most are harmless, and some are even beneficial. Our intestines are home to bacteria that help us digest food. They break it down into the nutrition our bodies need. In fact, all bacteria are just looking for their next meal. Sometimes, they find a feast in places that aren't so healthy. Our mouths are like five-star restaurants to bacteria. They collect into a thin film called plaque and chow down on food particles. As they digest food, it can make your breath, uh, unpleasant. And they also produce acids that eat away at our teeth and gums. That can lead to cavities, holes in your teeth. Right. Brushing and flossing regularly cuts off their food supply. And that prevents plaque from getting a foothold. Uh, after every meal is ideal, but in the morning and before bed for sure. Be gentle and use a soft bristle brush. Remember to brush all your teeth, and your tongue, too. Hitting the two-minute mark will ensure oral superiority. It's not just about your mouth. Bacteria love any hot, sticky place, like armpits, feet, and your uh, private parts. Paying attention to those areas will prevent them from getting stinky or irritated. You have to wash your hands after you go to the bathroom. Chances are, they have some bad bacteria on them. Clean them for 15 seconds with warm, soapy water before you touch something else. Well, like scratching a scab or rubbing your eye. Germs can easily multiply in these places and cause an infection. That means they overwhelm your body's natural defenses. Infections can be painful and dangerous. Plus, you may need medicine to get rid of them. Yep, germs can live for a while on things like doorknobs and desks. That's why you should wash your hands regularly, not just after bathroom breaks. Use hand sanitizer if that's more convenient. Cleaning your personal space helps too, and not just for germs. Most people feel better when their stuff is neat and organized. It's just one less thing you have to worry about. Oh, right. As you approach puberty, some of your body systems kick into high gear. Your skin will produce more oils, which some bacteria love to eat. So you'll find that you really need a shower to keep from smelling funky. Deodorant can help with that too. So can washing your clothes, especially stuff like socks and underwear. The earlier you start these habits, the easier it'll be. It takes some work, but it's totally worth it. Keeping your body and personal space in order just makes you feel good. Makes you feel more confident and calm. Y'all come back now.
Yep, our first sale of the day. No cash? So what'd they give you? But this, I, I don't... Uh, oh. Visit us at BrainPop.com for more on this topic and hundreds of others. You'll find movies, games, quizzes, and activities. Learn more about the difference BrainPop can make.